or your kids are trying to think of a unique Valentine's Day gift, we've got you covered. And we are joined by Karen Topman and Kristen Keneally from Snow Farm in Williamsburg. They're here to show us how easy it is to make mosaics. Ladies, Hi, thank ladies. you so much for stopping by today. Thank, thank you. you. The mosaics that you've brought with you are absolutely gorgeous, but it seems like you know the average Seth and Ashley, it seems really hard to make, but how hard is it to make a mosaic? It's actually really easy, and you can use materials that you probably either already have laying around your house, or you can get them easily at the craft store or at a tile store. Uh, a few simple tools that you can use to break tiles are very easy to use. Well, I'll show you how to do that. And basically, it just takes some patience and creativity, but you can change your mind as many times as you want. You don't have to be very good at drawing. Good. You can draw that is very good. good. As Helpful. simple as just a very simple line drawing like this. So this is the first step. You want to sketch something. Yep. You and do it a can very be... simple drawing, No, not a lot of details. OK. So right now, uh, what we're going to do today, or we're going to attempt to do, are some leaves. And you can get the material, as you were saying earlier, from anywhere. Let's talk about some of the stuff. I see sure. what might be a bowl and a plate. Yep. So broken china. Nobody mm -hmm. likes to break things that are family heirlooms, but you can turn no. them into <laughs> something that is, you know, a beautiful It's a way to keep art. a broken family heirloom forever. Exactly. Right. Or, I'm just in awe over here of this mosaic. I think this is so pretty. Okay. Yeah, I, I, that, yeah, if I could do that, that I'd be pretty proud of myself. Just get some practice. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so yeah, broken china, that's something that you can, yep. you can use. Broken china, you can get a sheet of uh, glass tiles from someplace like Home Depot. Mm -hmm. You buy this in the sheet, you peel off the pieces really easily, and then you break oh. them up and you put them in the mosaic. And that's nice because it comes, the way that it comes from whatever store you buy from has a lot of different textures and colors in it. Exactly, you right. buy it as like a mix of a, a palette like that that you mm -hmm. can work to, to make, make some shading if you want to get fancy like that, or Ooh. separate them out. and. Use it so are we going to get started to make places. one? I really want to see how to do it. Yeah, so I'm going to bring this over here. This is the part that... So that's what you've done is you've oh. taken your thing. How did you get to that point? So I did, did the drawing, as you can see, and I took a piece of sticky contact paper. And can you get that at any craft store? Anywhere, yeah. Okay. You can probably even get this at the grocery store. And you peel, peel it off. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to do that quite yet, but um, you, you lay it down sticky side up. And this is so that you can lay out your pieces and they're not going to shift around. But say I decided I didn't want this piece here, I could just take it away. Oh, so it's not that sticky. Right. It's very, it's a good way to hold it very temporarily. Now, do you want to teach us how we can make the pieces this small? Yeah. Okay, Ashley, because there's only one pair of glasses, but I'm giving so, them to you. Okay, so does that mean you're going to step away? So, I'm just going to yeah. cower so gonna back here the whole you time. Come over where okay, I we'll am. do a switcheroo. All right, protective seat. Uh, I'm just gonna eyewear. Do this there the we whole go. Time. Okay. Don't be fooled. It's really not going to shatter. Oh, <laughs> oh I was like, where are your okay. glasses? <laughs> yeah. I'm the only safe one here. That's not right. So you're going to hold those. Okay. I'm left handed, so you're probably you're right. -handed. I'm right handed. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're so a good team. We're going to use a piece of this. This is called the vitreous glass. Should I grab a piece of that? Sure. Okay. And these are wheeled nippers. So you're going to put the um, put the tile in and just sort of snip it in half. Hold Should it sort I be of nervous? down. No, yeah, hold it away from my face, it. Ashley. Oh, I wasn't about to snip it. I was going to put it to, oh, okay. Oh, easy, this is our, okay. Really I, I was really scared. Okay, yeah, don't worry. Good. I got under good. control. No explosions. Okay. So then that's, that's it's and easy to do. And then if you want to, you know, snip it in half it, again, you okay. can just. So they're pretty precise cuts too, so you can almost get it exactly how you want it. Right. And if you, you know, some of those areas in there are going to be triangles, mm -hmm. we can do a, uh, tr a triangular cut by holding it that way. Oh my god, I actually want to try doing this. I'm so fascinated. This is so cool. See, it's easier than I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, but it looks beautiful. I mean, I can't believe I could actually do something like that. And Chris <laughs> really nice. teaches classes at, uh, at Snow, Snow Farm, Farm, right? Farm, right. Yes. Yes. And you have, it's not just mosaic classes. There are so many different classes at Snow Farm. Right, right. So we run over 150 classes each year in all different types of mediums. And Christine, if you're interested in mosaics, teaches a two-day, two to week-long classes several times during the year. So you can learn just the basics or take a class where you really dive into it and can do several finished pieces. So, Very cool. Yeah. You could, yeah, have a, a class every week and learn how to do this. So you go through until the whole thing's finished. Then once this all gets to be complete, what's the next step? So if I can step over here, I'll yeah. show you what um, this one is ready for the next step. And um, so that's a completed mosaic. You want to peel that 
Here. So this is completed. Sure. Ready? And I love that. What you do is we're going to take another piece of sticky paper. Here we are. And we're going to lay it down, sticky side down. So we're kind of making a little mosaic sandwich here. <laughs> yeah. Yum. Yeah, don't eat this. Oh, well then. And then, just to have another surface on top, I'm going to put that down. And we're going to flip it over. Now, what's that? Is that just a piece of stone, like, or tile? Is that this what that is? is cement board. OK. Oh, and of course, it's taped down. That's OK. I'll tape that there. All right, so now um, you can see my drawing that I used that's now ripped. But um, <laughs> then we're going to very gently, and maybe we'll do this later on. Uh, and so this is the this inverse way. side, right? This is the back, yeah. And just to answer your question, Ashley, this is cement board that mm -hmm. you buy in huge sheets. It's three feet by five feet, and you just cut it with an X-Acto knife and break it. Yeah. Oh, so pretty easy to work to with, right yeah. Size. And then, now, now we're looking at this backwards. Mm -hmm. So what we would do is... You have to get it back now. to the other side, right? Right. So we'll peel off this piece, which mm -hmm. takes a little bit of, you know, doing. Takes so some, we'll, yeah, you got to be careful. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. Then we would mix up something called thin set mortar which is not what this is oh. this is the next this is further along down the process but we would mix up thin set mortar which is similar to this it's a powder you mix it with water kind of like a clay clay uh, it's more like cement actually. okay um, but it's very sticky you put it down on here you give it some grooves so you take this tool this notched trowel and you hold it at a 45 degree angle mm -hmm. drag it across kind of like you're if you were laying tiles in your bathroom right yeah and then you take this piece and put it on there and just adhere it right in. And then you're pretty good. So once that, your goal is for it to look a little bit like the mortar smushes up about halfway between the tiles mm -hmm. and then it's going to be ready for grab. Oh, if I could do that. Wow. I, say, I, I feel like Ashley. I got to get to work. Yeah, yeah, I know. That is really cool. Well, thank you ladies for showing us how to do that. Sure, I love yeah. it. It's so pretty.